We do want to begin with this morning with that massive sinkhole in Florida. Demolition crews are outside the house to tear it down. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez is there for us. Gabe, good morning. Last well, good morning. Engineers have determined that this site is entirely unstable, and so now demolition is underway. This is the first look we've gotten inside the house. Authorities abandoned their rescue and recovery efforts after finding no signs of life. With a sinkhole expanding beneath this house, rescue crews say they have no choice but to demolish the home today. The growing cavern is at least 30 feet wide and 50 feet deep, and they don't know when it will stop. We've met with the family, we advised them of that, and that at this point we have to move beyond the rescue to a demolition phase. Word that the victim may never be recovered hit the tight-knit community hard. Family members of 36-year-old Jeff Bush, who plunged into the sinkhole as he slept in his bedroom and is presumed dead, gathered with neighbors to console one another. I, I knew whenever the fire department or nobody would go inside the house, that was his last resting place, and that's where he would be for the time being. For those living in houses near the sinkhole, it's a scramble to safety. How long did they give you, ma'am? 30 minutes. Some families given just a half hour to collect their belongings and leave. It, rips, it just rips my heart out that, that people that I've lived next door to for 21 years had to leave. And it just, they have a lot of memories in their house also. Again, demolition is now underway. Authorities plan to allow the family to retrieve some of their belongings after demolishing parts of the house. Demolition is expected to continue into tomorrow, and then they'll decide how to fill the hole to stabilize the area. Lester. Gabe Gutierrez for us in Florida this morning. Thanks.